everyone, welcome back to Cybrosis. Today we are diving into the members module in Odoo 18 and let's check how the membership product has been managed and created. So this powerful tool is perfect for managing your members, whether you're running a gym, a club or any other membership based organization. And for that, obviously we need a membership product. So without confusing you guys, let's dive into the video and let me show you how to configure this. For that, first of all, let's move on to the members module. So this is the members module and here currently you don't have any members and I'm not touching the members area. If you go to the configuration, you can see this membership products. Click on that. Okay. So you're going to create a new membership product. Okay. One is already created there. I'm not touching that. So I'm putting it to a gym membership. Okay. So that's the name of my product. Now, if you want to specify any internal reference, you can give the reference over here. It can be a code, a number, whatever it is that can be given over here. And then you have the product category. You can include this particular product under whatever category you need. So by default, it will be under all category. If you want to put it under any specific category, you can choose it from here. That is the product category. I am putting it under all itself. Here you have to specify the company. Okay, so if you specify a company, this product will only be available on that company. Okay, if you don't specify any means, it will be available everywhere. And this is an active product. That's the reason why I've enabled it. I mean, by default, it will be enabled. Okay, so if you want to make this product visible on the current website, you have to enable this. Okay, so whatever that with that you can do it. And here you can add a description for a product. This is the sales description which will be displayed on the quotation. So both the descriptions can be given over here. And here you have to specify the membership duration. For, you know, situations where you are taking these memberships and all, it will be having a duration, right? So if you're taking a gym membership, you will pay this much money for this much period of time. So that's the membership, right? So I'm giving the membership duration as one month okay so this month 30th it will start and end on the next month and here you have to specify the membership fee so i'm giving the membership fee and here you can put the income account so you can keep this field empty to use the default value from the product category so i'm putting it as empty and here specify the tax so after implementing everything what you have to do you have to save it so successfully you've created a new membership product so now you guys might be thinking why are we creating this membership product is somebody going to buy this what is the use of this i'll end all your confusions so before that you have to go to the members and i'm going to create a new member okay so let it be an individual and here you can i'm just naming the individual as cybrosis or let it be a company itself. Okay. Its name is Cybrosis. See, that's the name of the company. And you can specify the address, the tax ID, the phone number, mobile number, and all the contact addresses over here. Okay. So this is exactly how you create a contact or a customer and all. That's exactly the same page. But you can see a new thing over here, which is the membership tab. Okay, so you can add a contra contact address for your, you know, company. You can add sales and purchase regarding details, the accounting details, see, the internal notes and all such things over here. Okay, let's keep all those things apart. Okay, that's the thing which comes while you create a customer. Okay, let's go to the membership tab. Okay, so this is a customer, I mean, a member which I created right now, which is Cybrosis. So for Cybrosis, Cybrosis can be a free member, okay, or it can be, a, it cannot be a free member. So right now or by default, it will be checked as free member so that you don't have to buy a membership and all. Okay, you can continue. So I'm just disabling this, which will enable you a new option, which is to buy membership. So you can click on buy membership over here. Okay, so buy membership means you are going to take a new membership. So what are we going to buy? the membership product which we have created. So here I'm going to choose the gym membership. That is the one which I created. You can see automatically the member price has come. 
okay so by choosing this you are taking a new membership next step is to invoice the membership so click on invoice membership see the invoice has been created so currently once you click on the invoice membership it will take you to the invoice which is in draft state you can open this confirm the invoice by checking all the details and continue to pay so this is in posted state i clicked on pay now i'm going to create payment for this as you can see the in payment ribbon has come now if you go back this is currently in posted state if you go back to cybrosis you can see under the invoice line the membership is taken and this shows you are now a paid member and when your membership will start as well as your membership ending date is shown over here okay so this is how easily you can buy a membership so here you have one thing which is called the associate member that is you can add an associate member for this particular member so what is an associate member okay a member with whom you want to associate your membership okay so this will consider the membership state of the associated member so that's where you can add the associate member okay so this is how easily you can buy a membership so right now i've showed you how to configure a membership product and how to use that okay how to use that while buying a membership for a particular member okay so this is how you do it we have much more things so i'll be back with those details in another video okay now i hope all these things are clear for you guys thank you so much for watching and for more videos you can check out our channel cybrosis technologies so that's it guys thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video